This was a great question. Can you save a part from an assembly so the other assemblies using that part won't have the part changed to a new name? And what you want to use is make independent. And I'll show you how to do it now. What I did for this example is I made two assemblies. They're exactly the same. I made assembly A and then I just copied it to assembly B. They're exact copies. But we'll go ahead and show that just to prove it. Let's see, assembly B, as you can see, ring one, ring two, and then ring one again. So they're exact copies. But let's change this top one. We're going to go down there and we're going to make independent. Click on that. And then we're going to click to save the components with a new name. OK. Now we're going to change it from ring one to ring three. And now you'll see we'll have ring one, ring two, and now we're going to have ring three. And we're going to click save. So there you go. We have ring three, two, and one. So now we have the exact same part, but just has a new name. So let's save this assembly B. Now we made it independent. So let's go back to assembly A. And it should not have changed here. And it didn't. It left it ring 1, 2, and then ring 1 again. And if we go and look at the parts, you can see we have ring 1, ring 2, and ring 3. Now, ring 3 right now is an exact copy, but we can change that. Now, if we make changes to ring 3, it should not make any changes back to ring 1 in any of the parts. But let's double check that. So let's open ring 3. And then let's change the color. Right click, edit appearance, and then click on a different color. Now we've changed the color. Now let's save this. And let's go back and open the assembly. But first, well, let's see if it changed it in the one that should not have changed. So let's go to assembly A. And that is just as it's always been, one, two, one rings. Let's open the one that should have changed. Now it needs to rebuild it. So we're going to click Rebuild. And there you go. One, ring two, and ring three. Ring three changed. Ring one did not change. They're exact copies except for the color. And if we go and look again at the assembly A, to answer your question, no, it did not change anything. So great question.